of workout guys that you can do with minimal space and no equipment needed at all, just your body weight. Of course, if you wanna add the challenge, by all means add some dumbbells to the exercises where appropriate. There are two ways to do this workout. For simplicity, to keep things straightforward, I'm going with a 10 rep range. If you'd like, you can add weights or you can increase the number of reps you do. What I recommend and how I'm showing you the workout is I'm gonna complete all the exercises straight through at 10 reps each. At that point, you can rest and either decide to do another round or two or whatever you'd like, depending on how you're feeling and how much time you have. If you don't feel like working out, use the tip I tell all my clients, move it for two. So just start walking, start dancing, start doing something for two minutes. And if you still don't feel like working out at the end of the two minutes, at least you gave it a try. But I would guess that after those two minutes, you're gonna be ready to keep moving. All right guys, have fun. And I look forward to creating more of these free at home workouts for everybody in the days to come. Starting with knees to elbow with a squat in the middle of each rep. We will do 10. As you're squatting, make sure you're staying heavy in those heels. Keep that chest lifted, those shoulders wide, and that weight heavy through the heels as you come down into the squat. There's six. A nice twist for the obliques there. Some glutes. I'll do two more, because when I talk and count, I always lose track. All right. That was 10. Let's move on to some lateral lunges with floor touches. So here we go. Take those legs nice and wide, sitting back to the heels, opposite leg straight, reach to the floor and come back. So keep your eyes forward. Think of pushing through the heel, really activating through the thigh, through the glutes, and engaging through the core to keep that nice neutral spot. Let's do two more. I apologize if my reps are out of count because like I said, I'm not a good rep counter on a good day. All right, curtsy lunges with a jumping jack. So with curtsy lunges, think of your hip bones being flashlights. Keep those flashlights pointing straight forward and then really squeeze the inner thighs together. We're gonna add a jumping jack. Your option is to do a low impact jumping jack. Opposite leg, hip square, squeeze those inner thighs Lots of work through the hips. This is number three. If you can get that back knee to the floor, great. Just make sure you're not jamming it. Hips stay forward. That's it. Moving on to five. Awesome. Number seven. As always, the more you can really work through the muscle, and create the squeeze, the more you'll get out of the exercise. All right. We got squats. We're gonna do 10 90 degree squat pulses, 10 halfway pulses, and 10 full range of motion squats. Here we go. So nice and low, keep that chest lifted, that spine long, weight through those heels, corkscrew your thighs away, so that this is not happening. Feeling pressure on the big toe, little toe, and heel. Here we go. 10 gentle pulses coming from the hip. Three more. All right, we're gonna come halfway. Don't stand yet. 10 more. Squeezing the glutes. Control this movement, should not be fast or jerky. And up right into 10. Full range of motion. Corkscrewing those thighs, big toe, little toe heels. If your knees are shifting forward and your shin over the shoelaces, that's fine as long as the pressure is through the back of that foot. Targeting up into those hamstrings and glutes as well on that extension. Here we go. No idea where we are, so let's do two more. Shoulders back, chest lifted, abs engaged right here and rest. Good work, guys. We're gonna move into some downward dog, knee to elbow with a leg up. This is how it looks. We'll do five each side. So here, we're gonna come forward, 
Bring that knee in. And as you push back, extend the leg. Do your best to try to keep the hips squared. Core is on. Lift and lengthen without letting your abs go. Awesome. Crunching that core. Let's do four more. If we do extra, great. Rather do extra than not enough. Don't be surprised if you start feeling this on the supporting leg, right up through the hip, into the glutes, and one more. Okay, so that was actually 10, so we'll do 10 on the other side as well. Notice if one side feels slightly different. And as you reach with that leg, really try to lengthen that toe without arching the back. Lengthen and maintain a neutral spine. This is six. Three more here, guys. Keep that core strong. Arms are straight, chest is still lifted, and last one, and reach. Okay, moving into one of my favorite exercises. I'm not quite sure what you would call it. I call it the rolling tricep push-up. Very important that as you do this exercise, you keep your elbows not out to the side, but straight behind you to target those triceps, the muscles on the back of your arm. So this is what it looks like. Keep in mind after those downward dog with leg lifts, you might already be feeling those triceps. So here we go. Toes down, we'll do 10. Hands, shoulder width apart. Shoulders are right over those hands to start with. You're gonna sit back slightly. The goal is to get the elbows to the floor Forearms and elbows to the floor as you roll through and come up. Sitting back, forearms, elbows to the floor, pointing straight ahead, come back. As you do this, try, here's three. To get that head as close to the floor as you can while you maintain contact with the elbows. As you come out of the circle, those elbows are literally squeezing your chest. So you want to feel those elbows beside your ribs. Let's do four more. Up, back, abs are engaged, especially those lower abs. Do them a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Pull and push. So as you're diving elbows to the floor behind you, pulling forward, pushing back, let's do one more. Pulling forward and pushing back. Right on. These, those rolling push-ups, they're a little bit deceptive. You may not think you feel anything right now, but do a few, do them right, get that squeeze, and those hands to the floor, pulling with the elbows, and you will, or should feel them the next day, somewhat that you've done something for your triceps. All right, let's move into the up crunches. This one, we're gonna keep tension throughout our core the whole time. Legs are wide, so follow along with me. If this is hurting your lower back for whatever reason, two options. Tighten the abdominals even more as if you're scooping your belly with an ice cream scooper and pulling it in, not out. Or bend your knees and don't bring your feet as close to the floor. Working on those deep abdominal muscles is key if you want to really truly strengthen your powerhouse, develop solid functional strength, and protect that spine without needing to do things like this. All right, so let's use the muscles, strengthen the right muscles so they can be more effective at their job. All right, so legs here, coming up, reach, and back down, scoop, up. It doesn't have to be a big movement. Up, low back on the floor. Maybe you're here. This is fine too, All right? I'm not bringing my head and shoulders to the floor each time. Up, let's do three more. Up, one more, scoop, 
up and how about one for good measure up and relax pull those knees in should feel that deep 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 within the core again if you feel any pinching through the lower up, up lower back typically you're not getting that engagement or maybe you haven't worked those muscles enough to let them do the work properly so just reduce the range of motion or bend the knees if you need to all right moving on we have a side plank knee to elbow love this think of being a dancer a ballerina the key word here is lengthen okay lengthen elongate find some space within your body and joints rather than crunching into yourself all right so up on the elbow if you need to you can come onto the knee otherwise you're going to extend both legs stack your knees stack your ankles stack your hips stack your shoulders try not to roll your hip back roll the hip forward so your whole body it's almost as if you're against a wall all right flush against the back of a wall rise up hand overhead this hand on the floor keep the hip up elbow to knee and reach there we go try not to drop the hip as you do this and breathe exhale on the exertion inhale on the lengthen i think that's five We got seven, three more, eight. You can also do this one with your hand to the floor instead of elbow. Two more, and we'll do that on the next set. And one, Woo! really feeling down on the oblique. Okay, let's try coming up from the hand on this next one. So your rest is basically the time it takes you to move from one of these exercises to the next. All right, here we go. If you have any shoulder issues, stay on your elbow. Otherwise, you're welcome to try up on the hand. This will work through the shoulder, help with your shoulder girdle mobility and stability here. I think this is fine. Add a little challenge to the oblique. And those little muscles to help you balance. Let's do three more. Three, whoops, see, one side way different than another. And let's do one more for fun, just for the added challenge, and relax. Don't be surprised if you also feel that in the lateral aspect of the hip, those glute you need movement muscles to help keep those hips high and work through that whole powerhouse area. Okay, we've got two exercises left, saving the best for last. First one, we're gonna do some full prone extensions. So, on your mat. So, we're working the whole back body, the posterior chain, the muscles alongside our spine, glutes, hamstrings, upper back, mid back, all those beautiful muscles. So, if you have any shoulder issues, you may not wanna reach your arms overhead, you can have your hands to your side, or you can have your hands back, palms to your body, and come up this way. Okay, full hyper extensions. Here we go. Tuck your chin slightly. Come on up and back down. Again, the name of the game here, guys, is reach. Lengthen, point, get taller. Keep that chin slightly tucked. Here we go. Up, hold, lengthen. Woo, feeling the bum. And focus on trying to equally extend through the lower body while well, equally feeling it through the upper body. Two more. Up. One more. Up. And down. All right. I promised that I would save the best for last. Here it is. Now for this one, it's objective. If you have a timer or a stopwatch or a phone, set yourself an interval time. For example, 20 seconds or 30 seconds or 10 seconds, okay? We're gonna do a single arm plank hold. I'm just gonna count out 10 seconds in my mind and then switch to the other side, all right? For more stability in this, take the legs a little bit wider, okay? Try to keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. The work is through the core, through your back body, glutes, hips, legs. All right, here it goes. I'll do my right hand first, shoulder over that elbow, Extend the legs. 
Now, I'm gonna get myself a good grip. Hips in line with shoulder, not up here. Your option is to drop to those knees if you need, but pay attention to that shoulder in the front. Here we go. Without rocking or twisting. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Another arm. Hips are squared to the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Belly away from the floor. Nine, ten. And there you have it, guys. Ten exercises, ten reps each, unless you have Julie math, in which case you might have an extra rep here or there. So take a rest, take some water. If you've done those right and put your mind into the muscles, the heart rate should be up and you should feel like your internal furnace is also cranked up. Maybe feel in a light sweat. These are all good things. Focus on how does your mind feel right now? Do you feel more relaxed, more calm, clear in the mind? more optimistic wonderful guys congratulate yourself for doing something to stay moving and to keep your immunity boosted all right it's so important right now that we're doing these things to help ourselves stay strong and healthy it's far too easy to sit on the couch all day drown on sorrows and chips and sugar you won't feel good if you do that so ask yourself how do you want to feel and when the answer comes up, do your thing. Do things and activities that are in support of how you want to feel. Thanks for joining me, guys. Stay tuned for another workout tomorrow.